Hey everybody, this is Agent Ice, and I'm here with Sonic Origins. Today I'm going to tell you and show you why you need to play as Tails in Sonic the Hedgehog 1. So stick around, and let's have some fun. Now of course, Tails is the easiest character to play through this game with, for obvious reasons. He's just so darn mobile, and you can just skip over a bunch of stuff. But of course, like always, I'm trying to do 100% here because I can. So we are going to try to get all of our lovely emeralds as soon as possible. Grab that, just to be a little safe, you know? But yes, this will be the final video, at least for now, for Sonic Origins. I'm hoping you'll enjoy watching this playthrough as much as I'm probably going to have fun playing it. Sonic 1's not my favorite Sonic game ever, but, you know, playing as Tails really makes it a lot more enjoyable. I like Tails. I mean, it's kind of funny, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog games, I like playing everyone but Sonic. <laughs> yeah, I just like the... I don't know, the... Um, kind of the gimmicks of the other characters. And of course, especially in Sonic 1, Knuckles and Tails were not made for this game, and so their... their mobility... There's their special things they bring to the table, right? They're just not balanced at all. But that being said, the game is still kind of slow for a Sonic game, and I think that's really the big issue I have with it, more than anything. And that's not to say that Sonic 1's bad. You know, the OG Sonic game, you know, I kind of joked as I played on my live streams the last couple days. But, really, it's not bad, and this is really where it all kind of started. So, love it or hate it, if it wasn't for this game, we would not have Sonic 1. We definitely wouldn't have Sonic 3 Knuckles, which is my favorite game. So, you know, I will give it respect where it's due. And, also, good on... Sonic Team improving the games as the years went on. Alright, so this is where... <laughs> yeah, I, I try to be careful there. Because <clears throat> you go through that, and if you forget that the signpost is right there, you will go past it. Now, I'm kind of dreading, in some ways, dreading maybe playing Sonic Mania next not because that's a bad game. Sonic Mania is actually pretty amazing. But I am so bad at the bonus levels in it, I don't think I'm going to actually be able to call my runs 100% completion for that one, sadly. Some people are really good at those bonus levels. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't do UFOs. But, you know, that's fine. The game's still fun even without it. I just can't really do the final boss. Worst case scenario, we'll show it off at some point. I do have a save where I have all of the emeralds and one of the modes. And maybe I'll just play through on that to kind of show off the last boss. We'll see. I had some help with that one, though, admittedly. So. But it is what it is. All right. So, Act 3. Easy peasy, let's just break through the walls here. Woo! Ah, uh, it's hoping to jump and kind of use the momentum to keep flying. But I mean, look at this. You know, if I don't have to worry about collecting rings and everything, I just do one of these. <laughs> and that's what's so great about all of this. You play as Tails and you just get the cheese all the way through the game. Or at least, you know, any stage where it's open enough. 
There's some more invulnerability stars up in the trees. Alrighty. So we've got Robotnik here. And that's exactly what I mean. Tails just, just breaks things and it's beautiful. It's beautiful how much he breaks things. So just like that, we are through Green Hill Zone. Now I anticipate this is going to be a relatively quick playthrough. Tails usually is pretty quick. The only reason why he doesn't have a shorter time than Knuckles and Sonic 3 and Knuckles is because Knuckles just has an abbreviated version of the game. And Tails' is a little bit shorter than Sonic's. Oh my gosh, I am so bad. What am I doing? Alright. Yeah, I thought I... No? Let's not say we did. I have to be careful because I've messed up before where I had just enough rings that I couldn't get what I needed in the end, and therefore can do stuff. So I'm eventually gonna hit a wall here. Uh, I can't. Yeah, it must be above up. No, no, I'm not. There is a secret up there, and if you've watched. My playthrough is Knuckles. I kind of show that to you. Up there, there's invulnerability stars. That being said, it's not really even worth going up there, in my opinion. Because if you get vulnerability stars, what are you going to protect yourself from? You know, maybe if you get down, you have enough time to, to use it with the bats. But that's about it. That's about it. I still think it's kind of crazy. I think this place is a prison of some sort because you've got the barred windows now maybe that's just just how it is maybe this is some kind of fortress or something i don't know but i could totally see this being a prison just like a, a lava prison it'd be kind of freaky Ooh, ooh. let's see Ooh. okay we're gonna go up here I don't know if anybody watching this might be a Legend of Dragoon fan or not, but recently, no, recently, they released Legend of Dragoon on PlayStation 4 and 5, and I've been watching people on Twitch play it, and I, you know, I really like that game. I'm a part of the Legend of Dragoon fandom Discord, which, you know, it's full of awesome people. If you like the game, definitely check it out and check out the projects they're working on. So I want to give them a nice little shout out there. But anyway, I've been watching people play that game. It just, you know, brings back a lot of memories. That was one of my favorite RPGs, if not my absolute favorite uh, RPG. I think in a lot of ways it was ahead of its time, and for it being a rookie studio that made the game, yeah, in some ways it kind of shows, but they really made one heck of a game. They really, really did. So if you like JRPGs at all, and you want something that's maybe got a little bit of a nicer combat system for being a turn-based RPG, I would definitely suggest check, checking it out. You know, of course you can, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest piracy, but, you know, if you have the game, definitely maybe play it on an emulator or something, you know? Really, really nice game. If you've got a PlayStation 4 or 5, I think it's like 10 bucks. Man. Check it out. It is a tad buggy from what some people have been reporting i don't know what it is with with games these days everything's kind of like screwed up when it's released and I, I gotta be honest with you you know this game was pretty screwed up when they first released it too now and I, I know i've said this before in other streams i would not blame 
head cannon for that. Oh, by the way, there is a secret thing down here. I've shared this before, but I'm Tails and it's easy to get back up, so there we go. I wouldn't blame head cannon for it necessarily. My understanding of the situation is Sega kind of released the wrong build or used the wrong build for the release. And that's part of the reason why it was so buggy. And I don't know if having to deal with the issues with that build or just time constraints led to it, but I guess there were a few features that may not have actually made it into the game. So. Oh yeah, this? Oh, I messed up. I did it correctly on Knuckles one time. But you can get a bunch of points off of those if you can consistently hit all of those. But, you know, this was pretty buggy. I remember it having mixed reviews. I think now it's like very positive or mostly positive. It's been a while since I looked at it, right? But, I don't know. It's just kind of the way things are. And I know with the, mostly the issues with the emulation, for Legend of Dragoon the way that they did it. People have run into some issues there. I'm sure it'll get fixed eventually, but you know, it's 10 bucks. I would say once they get it fixed up, it'd definitely be worth trying. If you like JRPGs, it's a very nice one. I might even try firing up that game sometime and streaming it myself. Probably not right now though, but we'll see. We've got a lot, a lot going on, a lot I plan on doing, and again, I'd like to get into some Sonic Mania. I've also got Last Epoch coming up here, March 9th, the multiplayer for it, and if you like top-down action RPGs, I can easily, easily recommend that one. It has been amazing. And I will be uploading content related to that game fairly regularly starting next month. And if you want to know how to play the game, there's a lot of good information both in the game, but I've also, and you know, on the wiki, but I've also made videos explaining different key systems in it. So feel free to check those out on my YouTube channel. Oh my goodness, I cannot get this, there we go. Holy smoly. That was a struggle, and it really should not have been. But hey, we got it. We've got four out of six emeralds. <laughs> the next one's Act 3. I don't have to worry about keeping my rings. And I'm just going to try to book it through the level, quite honestly. So what am I going to do? I really love that back. I, I know I always say this right. People are probably tired of like, shut up about the backgrounds, but I love them, okay? I love these backgrounds. I think they're really cool. Whoa, what is this? Like, death trap. What is this? Can he actually fly over? No, you cannot. Oh, why did I have to land there? Of all places. I don't really need the points, but, you know. Oh, that's kind of cool. You land, If you do that right, you land there. So, I have not really been in this part. This is all new to me. I don't, I don't think of all the times I've played this, I've ever gone in here. Okay, so you hit that and then that thing activates. Should be able to land on this, yeah. Yeah, it shoots fire. Definitely not in the original release, so they added this path. Most likely for both Knuckles and Tails, since they both are going to be able to navigate that. That's kind of cool, though. That is kind of cool, I must admit. Up, 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 and away. Is this the boss? Wow, that's, that is a heck of a shortcut. No! I done goofed! Alrighty. 
See, quick fight. Uh, Tails' and tails are just so darn good for beating Robotnik. It's absolutely insane. I think we're just gonna fly through this. I really do. I think we're gonna fly through this game, no pun intended. All right, so we've got Spring Yard Zone. We got a few crab meats here. I forget what those guys are called. It's honestly, just one of these days, I need to kind of actually sit down and try to learn the names of all the bad nicks. All right, you need to go. I don't need you hitting me. Okay, that's good. Just want to make sure no one's gonna pop out and be like, SURPRISE! Some of them only have two, and others have four, and you just can't be too careful. No! He almost touched me, and I did not consent. We're gonna come up here. Tails got tired, but eh, we made it. That's what's important at the end of the day. So I don't... I don't know. I remember vaguely watching something where they're talking about this level and up on CPU. Like, there was... it's It was supposed to, I think, be some kind of reference to the... the hardware for the Sega Genesis? I'm not sure, though. I think that's what it was, and that's if, you know, the information I was getting in the video is right, you know? I'm not sure, though. I could not, uh, could not tell you without a doubt it was valid information. Oh, come on. No, 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 I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I just want to get through here because that is the end of the level. One of these days I'll have to go back and look that up again and see what that is actually about. But supposedly it had something to do with the Sega Genesis hardware, from what I can recall. But that's been it's been a few years since I think I've, I've watched that. And nothing else that I've really watched since then has referenced that at all. Oh, come on. Come on, no! Oh my gosh. I really... I really don't like this bonus level. Oh, I knew I was gonna die in that one. Well, I guess not die, but fail, whatever, I don't know. Alright. This music just, like, puts you to sleep. I think they... They knew this was going to be infuriating for people, so they put, like, the most relaxing music they could cook up. So they're like, yeah, when people, you know, keep losing repeatedly, they won't get mad because they'll be, like, too tired to be mad, right? We'll just practically put them to sleep. It's kind of like when they put that relaxing music on the, you know, the hold when uh, you call in for, like, technical support or something. You know, it's like... Something's gonna put you to sleep. Super relaxing, because they know, like, yeah, this person's gonna call in, they're gonna, like, hate us. So, let's just kind of put them to sleep so they're more docile. I think that's why they do it. That's my, that's my theory. Even if I'm wrong, it would make sense to me. All right, so we got five Chaos Emeralds out of six. Let's go. We just need one more. We're going to get it in the next zone. And then we're going to just try to bust through the rest of this game as quickly as possible. I like that they just have a spring here. It's like, boing. Oh, really? Am I that bad? I mean, don't answer that question. But... I already know, okay? I already know. 
Oh my god. Alright, alright. This is not the beginnings of anything good at all. <laughs> Ooh. I almost hit that spring! That would have knocked me into good old crab meat. No! Oh my god, why am I so- You know, I hate these things. Alright. That's okay, we can still turn- Oh, I thought I was gonna get squished. I really thought I was gonna get squished right there. Like, I saw my life flash before my eyes. It's like, this is how it's gonna end, isn't it? This is- this is it. The grand finale! But somehow, we made it. Alright. I want to grab that ring, but more importantly, I want to get... I always have a heck of a time getting down here. Hey, look at that! It's either... It goes really well, or it goes really terribly. There's no in-between with that. In my experience, there's no in-between. It either goes really well or really, really poorly for me. This time it went well, and you know what? I am thankful for it. I just want to make sure I don't go too high, because I don't want to obviously skip the goal post if I end up getting to it. All right, here we go. I don't think you actually can the way they did this level. Let's get this last emerald. And we're just gonna boogie woogie right through the game. Now since I wasn't gonna do my camera this time, I wasn't... I wasn't sure if I wanted to just make it a silent recording or not. I, I don't know what people would like. You know, I did do a silent recording for... One of my playthroughs. And... I don't know, it just didn't do so well. So if you are watching this and you're say and you're thinking like, hey, you know what, like, dude, your voice is annoying. Or, you know, you just just I wish you would shut up and not say anything. Hey, you know, let me know down in the comments. I could do some silent recordings. But Alright, let's see here. No! Oh my gosh, I'm pro gamer moment right there. Pro gamer. You could practically smell the the Gatorade and Doritos on my breath after that. Ooh. Okay. Man, they really like. I don't know what it is, but Robotnik's got crabs really bad. Lots and lots of crabs. These are the dangerous kind. No. Oh, there is some stuff I want to show all of you here, too, once I get to it. There is, I think, invincibility star. Yeah, invincibility stars up there, or speed shoes. I can't remember which one it is. But either way, if you're interested, you can always ride the little, I don't know, half pike kind of thing back up there and grab them. You just can't go too fast, or you won't be able to get in there. I've gotten in the last two playthroughs. I'm not gonna do it in this one. So, because again, this is going to be, I'm intentionally going to go a bit faster. Alright, I'm trying to, it's not this one, it's back here. So if you come here and you're interested, there's invincibility stars there. You can, if you really book it, you can make it to Robotnik and maybe get a couple of hits in. There's rings up here that obviously only Tails can go. And then... I think there's... 
Alright, so... Boom. He only got one square. Get good, Robotnik. Get good. You got beat by, like, a little fox boy. And you've got an IQ of 800. Not looking too good. Not looking too good at all. So we got all of our emeralds. We got plat. We got past Spring Yard Zone. Time for everyone's favorite zone in this game, Labyrinth. Yay. At least I don't have to worry about keeping my ring, because I can get the crap beat out of me, and I don't have to care anymore. That's right. All of the stress is off now. Tails can swim, too, which is another thing that makes him ridiculously good. I wonder if I can... You know what? Let's do it. This is gonna... Oh, my gosh. Why am I bad? Why am I bad? Okay. I forget which switch it is. It's... I went through the platform somehow. Cool. I forget which switch it is, but you can hit it, and then you can ride one of those things up and kind of get some momentum going and jump over. Uh, but yeah, it, it gives you this little thing. You can get back up, you can ride this over. If you're, you know, Sonic, you would have to. If you're Knuckles or Tails, you can just fly over, and I've shown you that. And you just ride that guy right over there, and boom. And that is like a super duper shortcut for this game. Oh my god, come on. Don't do that to me. You darn drill people. Because you go over here, you hit the switch. And then, hey, look, it's literally the end of the level. That took us a whole just over three and a half minutes. And if I just flew over it like I could have done, it would have been a lot shorter. But yeah, that is that is a pro shortcut right there definitely definitely use it if you're trying to get through quick all right so now oh. i was i was thinking uh, act three there for a second getting a little ahead of myself but just that. Might wait till I get a bubble here, just just in case. Yeah. I love that he can swim, and I love his swimming animation too. It's just, I don't know, I, I really like it. Yeah, you know, a lot of people did not like Tails as a character. I kind of understand why. He sounded like a little squeaker kid. You know, and everything. People also, I think, tend to forget how young he is, because I think he's, he's like, a little bit younger than Sonic, even. You know, character-wise, but... Oh, there we go! There's a switch! I always do that. Don't, don't be me. When you play this game, don't be me. Don't do stupid stuff like that and just get hit by that ball and chain. Why I do that every time, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. Oh my gosh, come on. Really? Like, y'all? Alright. I do want to get an air bubble here, just because... Want to get up high enough? Any other character can jump and make that fast enough that they're not gonna get like, messed over. Wow. Okay, I was gonna say. I knew I was gonna get hit by one of those. I just, I just don't care. You know, I'm, I'm being impatient because that's kind of the point of my run at this point. Yeah, it's not a speed run, but it's a speedier run than what I normally do. And boom, we are out. What? There was a thing all the way over. Okay, cool. I'll take some points. 
It don't really matter, but so we got through that and just wow, that was almost two two two. <laughs> just needed one more second there, right? All right, so I'm gonna take these guys out, ride the the water slide here. I might as well pick that up. It doesn't really. Oh my gosh! Pro gamer moment. That's what we're gonna call those. It's like uh, it's like Bob Ross, you know. There's no such thing as mistakes. There's just happy little accidents. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call them. It's a happy little accident. Those of you who may not know, I actually really do like watching your Bob Ross videos. Like I, I check out that channel on YouTube all the time. So relaxing to watch, and it's cool too. Like I wanna, you know, if I ever had like a bunch of, you know, money and free time, I'd love to sit there and like try to learn how to paint like he did from watching it. I mean. I'm sure there's more to his technique and everything if you take one of the classes or something, but even a basic understanding, I think it'd be cool. He does, he worked magic. I guess um, he had a teacher, like he didn't invent wet on wet painting, which is what he's doing. He learned it from somebody else. And early on when he was doing his shows, he's mentioned the person and I don't really entirely know what happened, but I guess apparently things with that relationship kind of went bad. I don't know if the guy who taught him got jealous or, you know, what exactly happened there. But apparently he said something along the lines of, you know, I, he thinks he's better than me and I'm the one that invented the technique, you know, so... I guess shortly after that, he, he quit referencing the guy. So I don't, like I said, I don't really know what what happened there. But, I don't know, just an interesting tidbit. He was also missing a, a finger, too. I think it was one of his pinkies. And it was the one that he holds the, the, was it the Eatsel with, or whatever it's called. But, I don't know. Either way... I really enjoy watching Bob Ross. It's very relaxing. So you would ride that up there, hit the switch, and reverse it. But hey, we're tails. We just okay. We just get hit by you know stuff because pro gamer. All right. Let's see here. There's actually a guy, uh, Nick Hankin, I think's his name, that at least would occasionally, every month or two or so, do like a recording and that would get uploaded to the Bob Ross channel on YouTube, where he'd, you know, paint something in the style, you know, and, uh, of course, he's got his own little technique and stuff too, right? I mean, he's not going to be Bob Ross. But, it was somebody that's like a instructor, I guess, at, at the school. But he's really good. He's really good. I really like when, they, when he uploads videos, but I haven't seen any on there for a couple of months. I don't know if they stopped with that or what. But I definitely hope they get another one up there. This is great, but I've you know I've always had an appreciation for for really any anybody who's good at any type of art. And I mean, drawing, painting, hell, you know, even making music, right? Like I listen to a lot of video game remixes and stuff, and it is amazing to me what people make. And I'm like, dang, I wish I could do that. And I guess maybe if I really, really wanted to learn, I could probably figure it out. You know, and I like learning things. Maybe someday I'll, I'll put time into it. Right now I'm trying to trying to learn some stuff to make, be, make my streams and my videos a little bit better. I got... 
I don't know, I've been really just trying to learn and improve things, and if you look at some of my earlier stuff and how I, I was kind of going about what I do, you'll definitely notice, I think, a bit of a difference there. But, you know, life's all about learning things and improving the things that you like, you enjoy, right? Just from doing them. That's what I want to do. Continue to do, anyway. Yeah, that's why, you know, I almost always ask people for feedback. You know, what did you think of the video? What do you think of the stream? What did you like? What did you dislike? Because that helps me bring content that you're going to like, maybe. Because this, this is about as much about you as it is me, right? Because who am I making the content for? It's for you. So. And I do hope that you find this helpful, entertaining, you know, something. I hope you find some sort of value out of it. Otherwise, it does kind of feel like wasting, wasting my time. Maybe wasting your time, too. I certainly hope not. I like to waste people's time. It's not, we don't have that much time. We definitely can't be wasting it, right? All right. Got through Act 2. Let's hit Act 3 up. Also, if you think there's a game that's worth checking out, let me know too. I don't know if I'll play it or not, at least right away, but I'll definitely check it out and try to learn about it. He said, I'm always trying to learn things, always, I don't know, you gotta, you gotta do that, right? Keep your mind sharp. I mean, heck, yeah, this might sound a little odd to some people too, but hey, I've spent hours learning on how to make candles. There's this guy on uh, YouTube, Black Tie Barn. There's a lot of videos about it. You know, I actually find that fascinating. So I do. Or even some bushcraft. And there's a lot of people that do bushcraft videos. And I think it's cool. Someone can just kind of go out into the wilderness, right? And just really with nothing. Well, I shouldn't say nothing, but with mostly just the the things in nature around them can make shelters and all kinds of stuff. It's really cool. Really cool. I almost, I almost want to try it maybe uh, this summer or fall or something. See if I can do something like that. I mean, it's probably not going to be that good first time doing it, you know. Why am I doing this? I'm Tails. I could just cheat. I mean, not cheat, cheese. I'm not lazy, I'm efficient. Right? <laughs> uh... But, I don't know. I do find the bushcraft videos to be kind of interesting, and some of them are really relaxing, too. There's been a few different people that make those that are real interesting. My, I, I kind of started with it with, uh, I think his name's Joe Robinette. And it was kind of, it was kind of cool because I saw some of his older videos. I think the first one, it was like a dollar store challenge. They had to buy, I forget how much money worth of stuff and they couldn't go over it by buying things at the dollar store to be able to go and survive a night outdoors. And they had to make, I think at least one meal. And he did it. I mean, he went out there with like garbage bags and a can of soup and stuff and you know, he pulled it off. It was kind of cool. And that was like a, a much earlier video. And I saw some of his more recent stuff. And, you know, it's really cool watching. That's another thing that's kind of really interesting with anyone who's been around a lot. Um, especially on like YouTube, right? You kind of see them evolve over time. And you can kind of see the story, you know, at least part of the story of that guy's life as he kind of uh, 
he kept up with his his bushcraft videos and everything. He learned things. He got better. He got more stuff. You see, when he started getting, you know, free gear and endorsements from companies for out outdoor, you know, camping brands and everything, it's just it's really cool to me. You know, I kind of like seeing that story. You know, likewise, I've seen a lot of people um, get into what's called ASMR. And I think that's kind of cool. I wouldn't even necessarily mind learning how to do some of that. Not that I necessarily want to make a career or anything out of it. I just, I want to understand it more, right? Because I think it's it's kind of cool how the, the brain works. And that's a definitely, a definitely, I think has some psychological effects. Not Not bad, you know, but it's kind of... It's real interesting. I don't get like supposedly people get a tingly feeling. I've listened to some of that stuff. I don't I don't get that myself. But, you know, some of that stuff it is it's weird. Like they'll do some of the most almost random things. And it's so relaxing sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, I don't get this this tingle thing they talk about, but you know, sometimes you put some of that stuff on free go to bed and it really just kind of helps put you out sometimes it doesn't though but you know i guess it depends how to what degree you get affected by it. I don't, it that's an interesting subject too but anyway i'm getting i'm getting off topic here right well not off topic but i'm kind of kind of ranting I'm ranting and raving but anyway um you know i've watched some some of those people really start out with nothing and watch them grow. Some of them in a matter of just a few months. And it's really crazy to me. You know, people that had like maybe 30 subs or something and now they're like in the thousands, their videos are getting thousands of views, tens of thousands of views. It's just kind of cool. You know, I, I'm a... I'm a very story-focused person, I, I guess, is how I would put it. You know, I like to see how things progress. That's one reason I think why I like history. And why I really like lore and video games. Like, really well-thought-out lore. I like to understand things going on with characters and, and see things progress. You know, that's just, that's just what I enjoy. Maybe that's odd, I don't know, but... You know, it is what it is. But, yeah, it's just cool seeing these people. And I'm really, really happy they got success because they definitely, they, you know, they put in work. They really did. They put in a lot of work and a lot of effort. It pays off, and I like to see people get rewarded. I re oh, ah! I just got rewarded with death there by those, uh, ball, spiky balls on a chain. That's fine. Oop, no, we gotta get, so this is, this is the shortest way to do the level. And in some ways it's, well, I guess it's the same amount of pain because you're gonna kind of be doing a lot of the same stuff. Come on. There we go. Oop. Don't you hit me. Oh my gosh! And then there we go. It's amazing how a lot of times you get hit and then you just like go fall and fall and fall. Oh, they, they laid things out well for catching you. Yeah, land on my tails. Land on Tails' tails and die. But I don't know, like I said, I just I just think it's kind of cool watching a lot of that stuff. Oh, I didn't even make it to the other side. All right, let's do this. But yeah, I like I like those kind of stories, and I'm really lore focused in games. I mean, heck, I'll spend hours and hours watching videos, reading stuff, whatever, to kind of understand some of the lore behind. A lot of the games that I like. And it's funny, because, like, you know, for those who know me, I'm really not that patient of a person. I hate kind of sitting still for the most part. 
you know, like, I can't even watch TV. Like, I gotta... I've gotta be actively doing something. Right? Which is probably one reason why I do gaming. Gaming for me is what watching TV is for others. I guess, right? <laughs> but... But I don't like to read. I don't like to sit, be still, focus, and read. Generally speaking. But I'll sit there and read, like, all kinds of, like, theory on why things are the certain way they are in games, and lore stuff, you know, item descriptions, things like that. And it's just, like... It's just kind of, uh, it's just kind of funny. At least to me it is. Alright, let's see. Can we bag Robotnik? Ah, come on. He's on the wrong side. This is probably the easiest way to beat him. Maybe not the fastest, but... Yeah, I'm here about... Not trying to get squished. What sucks is we almost had... No death run there, but... They did get me. They got me once. Really good run overall. I'm not gonna complain. Hey, you go, Robotnik. Eat that. Oh no. <laughs> and there we go. We just beat Sonic 1 as Tails, and that was super zippy fast. And that is why Tails is such an overpowered character in this game. He is just absolutely nuts so if you're looking to play this just to kind of experience it but you don't want it to be hard tails is probably the easiest character i would say knuckles is second and then of course last would be sonic just because he doesn't he you know he doesn't really have any mobility gimmicks that yeah you know, he could benefit from right he doesn't move particularly fast compared to most of them. You know, Knuckles, I think he jumps slightly, uh, not as high, but it's not enough to be a huge difference. Uh, and, you know, Knuckles' climbing usually makes up for that in a lot of situations. Tails obviously can fly. <laughs> you know, it, it is what it is, right? But, either way, you can kind of see that item box there and that short clip that I was talking about earlier in Spring Yard Zone. But... Yeah, Tails is definitely a good time. And even in Sonic 2, you know, Tails, if you get all the emeralds, he does not get a super form. And that's totally fine. Because, to be entirely honest with you, he doesn't need it. I don't find the super form to be that great in Sonic 2 99% of the time. And he can just fly, which is wonderful. <laughs> like, the flying makes up for lack of super form. And actually, it makes it so if you, you don't particularly care about the ending you get, you just say to heck with it with all the emeralds and just rush through it. I'd be tempted someday maybe to come back and play these games and not get the emeralds and just see how quickly I could beat it. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to compare to the speedrunners out there. You know, like my buddy Z. But, you know, just see how fast kind of playing the way that I do if I skipped the emerald stages and really wasn't worried about keeping my rings. How fast I could go. But anyway, if you stuck around for this, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that quick little run through there. And again, always looking for feedback. Let me know what you think. And if you like what I'm doing, give me a subscribe. Give me a like. Give me a comment. And if you want to see me play live, I usually stream Monday through Wednesday at 6 o'clock Eastern. So stop by, pay me a visit. And until next time, take care, have a great day, but for now, this is Agent Ice, signing off.